Gregory trained at the Heart Dungeon. I mean, come on, Davy Boy Smith's son. I mean, genetically, he looks just like him, just like him. And he's actually even got more talent than, than, than his dad had, which is saying a lot because his dad was a three-time WWF tag team champion. He's got a bright future ahead of him, and he hopes that that includes the Resistance Pro Heavyweight Championship. Winner of this goes on to, to, to fight the Sheik at our next show. If you want to get more information, go to resistancepro.com. Lock up. Headlock by Mary Smith. Headlock takedown. Head scissors. Kip up. Beautiful, beautiful. It looks to me like Harry's really in the best condition of his life. No question. Collar and elbow, elbow tie up. Reversal by Steen. Are they going to break clean? No. Oh, come on. Steen's cowering down already at this point in time. Do you think it's just a strategy that he has? Or? You never know with Kevin Steen. You never know. Kevin Steen, though, looks a <laughs> He's a little bit out of his game. I think so, too. I can tell by the look on his face. He's he looks a little bit frustrated. I think Harry Smith is getting under the skin of, of, of Kevin Steen. Top headlock. Steen's got the advantage here. Shot to the gut, shot to the gut. Nope, he tightens up that headlock. Oh, no wow. man can do. You're not going to knock this man down with just a regular shoulder tackle. Undelay. Nope. I think he's got to go a different route. Kevin Steen is flustered. I mean, he really... He's out of his element. You know, this isn't Ring of Honor, man. You know, usually this guy fights guys, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds lighter than him. Harry Smith is... He's got to go into the head of Steen. Steen's got to, Steen's got to get, you know, get stuff together. Boot to the gut. Being out of your element is one thing, but a few more clotheslines like that from Harry Smith. Kevin Steen's going to be out of this zip code. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right, take down. You know what's really, you know, what's really surprising is, is now Harry Smith is not only trained, you know, a trained professional wrestler, but he's also training to become an MMA fighter with no one, none other than Billy Williams. I know he's also training in, uh, in Tampa with Josh Barnett. So this guy's on a, on, on a very strict schedule. And, you know, it's really hard to take a guy off his game plan who's got it together mentally. And like you stated earlier in the night, someone who has confidence in themselves, that is what, that's what wins you matches. That's what wins you titles is confidence. Harry Smith confidently. Confidently. But Kevin C makes it to the ropes. That's the one thing that you know that uh, that Harry needs to adjust to is a smaller ring. WWE rings are 20 or 22 feet, while right now the, the the size of the ring that we have at Resistance Pro is about 16 feet within the ropes. It's a it's a big difference. Nowhere to run, no place to hide. Tight quarters and small corners of that ring. Definitely finger lace, forearms by Steen. He's got he's got him in the corner. Hard elbow. Reminiscent of, of, of the late great Buzz Sawyer. Not that anybody that's listening to this is ever going to even know who the hell I'm talking about. But. European uppercut by Steen. Resistance Pro creating its own Thanksgiving suplex. I think that might be it. Two count. I hate you. 
See, at this point in time, Hart needs to stay on steam. He can't give him any breathing room. He's got to stay on his man and, and not give up until he gets the three count in the middle. Oh. European forearm. Oh. oh! Well, that gives a new definition to ring as well. Gary Smith is going to, see, I don't think this is a good idea because this is not within his element. He caught him. Gorilla press slam off the top. Skeen smashes down on Smith. You know, Skeen's playing to the crowd, playing to the crowd. Look at if he would have got on him, probably not. if he would have got on him a second earlier, he might have had that. Yeah, beat. you're right. No, you're right, Steen definitely the fresher of the two because Harry Smith doing what he felt he needed to do at the moment but wasn't too much of a risk. Is it going to cost him a chance to make it they become the champion? All it takes is one mistake, Joel. You know it, Joel. You've been around for years. You've seen this stuff. You've been around it for, what, 15, 20 years? 20 years. 20 and years. you're right, just one mistake. Professional wrestling is like the butterfly effect. Everything leads to something else. Every action causes reaction. Which and is Harry a, Smith was dominant, had momentum, and now is paying the price. Steen has got him in a in a, in a variation of a, of a chin lock. Headbutt to the small of the back. You know, speaking of Joel, are you ever thinking about getting back in a, a managerial position, or are you pretty much, you know, basically happy sticking to, to play? You know, to play you know I, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought much about it. It would be interesting and it would be intriguing. I'll tell you though, what I do take comfort in is that if I were to get back into the managerial side of things, there is so much talent in Resistance Pro. Who would you would pick? Hard I, I, I couldn't begin to tell you. It's, it's tough. I couldn't begin to tell you. But you know what? I can tell you this certainly. Either one of these combatants would certainly be somebody that I would love to guide them. I agree with you 100%. And I think Steen has that killer instinct, you know, that's, that's embedded in his heart. You know, he might clown around a little bit, you know, and, and he gets off. If he had a manager <laughs> such as yourself to, to, to get him on, you know, on target and to keep him, you know, you know, setting his goals, I think he'd probably go even farther, you know, at this point in time. He is adverse to authority, and he values his own opinion above anybody else's. So I don't know really if he would listen to anybody else's advice. I agree with that. Harry Smith is uh oh, listen to the son of a spine breaking because of you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. All right, you know those turn that, 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 that those posts are are not round, they're square and they've got edges and that had to have gone right to the spine of Harry Smith. I think Steen's playing with him just like a kitten would play with a you know with a ball of yarn right now. He knows he's got a heart in position. Well, no doubt about it, Kevin Steen. What I'm worried about is this, if Kevin Steen does go all the way and wins this belt, can Resistance Pro trust him? No. They, I no. no, no. I mean, you know, the same way you can't trust a snake. The same way you can't trust anybody that's underhanded, devious, and only has their own hey. motives. He works for TNA, there is no hope. Oh. Harry Smith showing that he's not giving up at this point in time. He's fighting his way back up. Harry Smith has to turn the tide here. Shots to the gut. Oh! A knee by Steen. Big body slam. I've seen this before. Steen's going up top. And he is effective from up there. At 275 pounds, you better believe it. Surprisingly so. He needs to stop jacking with the fans up there. Up. He called it again. See, oh, big forearm. Looks 
of carries going to go up. Got to be careful up there. It's looking like a big superplex. <laughs> a really big superplex. I think a couple boards busted in that ring, Joel. He needs to make the cover. I don't think this is going to get Steen. Nah, Steen's not ready. See, Steen's got that fighting spirit. He's evil. He's, he, he's badass to the bone, and he's not going to give up with just the superplex. It's going to take a lot more by Harry Smith to, 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 to pin Mr. Steen. He is driven. He is driven by not just ambition, but bad intentions. He is determined to become champion. Harry Beck on the offense. It looks like he's trying to get a 10 count here from the fans. One, two, three, Just that quickly, the tables have turned, and Harry Smith is now in control. Big dude. See here, I just don't understand this, show. I don't understand guys playing to the fans when the title, when the title shot is on the line. Big leg drop by, by Smith. Two and three quarters there. Both of these guys have a lot of pride, though. This is personal for both of these guys. Well, these guys aren't playing around. These guys are adamant professionals. I mean, nothing's gonna, you know, nothing's gonna deter them from from going towards their goals to win this match. It's just, you know, we don't know who's gonna win this one. Whoever has a little bit of extra something is gonna do it. Reversal. He's, he's, you know, he's, big clothesline by Harry Smith. Great defense followed by great offense by Harry Smith. Oh, Steen has him on the ropes here. He's going for a suplex. Oh, who's gonna get this one? We don't, big shoulder block to the stomach. Oh, he impaled him with that DDT. This is going to turn the tide here for Steen. I really believe this is what he needed. This is going to give him the time to catch his breath, to get his wits together, and to get back on his game plan. And he's up. And Harry's in a really bad position. element here you know he's used to wwe style matches he's used to wwe sty style rings uh, he's not used to this kind of setting and i think it might be detrimental to him i'm not sure what do you think i think it's just kevin steen is so unpredictable so you, you don't know how to defend yourself sometimes against kevin steen he throws his whole body at you he goes after you in ways sometimes that honestly until you wrestle with kevin steen you don't know oh! Harry Smith is he showing that he's not out of this by a long power shot. Oh, oh, seated power bomb. I think that's it. Oh, two count. Neither one of these guys are willing to give up. You know, it, it's basically conditioning against spirit here. Steam has that drive. Oh. Got him in the sharpshooter. He's trying to get to the ropes. Steve's trying to get to the ropes. Harry needs to pull him back in the middle. There you go. I don't believe Steve is going to give up now. He'll pass out. Did he, one hit, one, did he tap? I didn't see him tap. Verbal, if it was a verbal, verbal submission, it could have been a verbal. I think you're right, Mr. Gertner. Wait, what is he doing down there? I am hearing word that the 20 minute time limit oh, has come out and this I mean, contest war, but it has been declared a draw. Joe, what are we going to do here? Somebody has to wrestle the sheep at the next show. We are
potentially going to get five more That's what we need, minutes. four more minutes. That will, that's what we need. Well, that's, that's only fair. And we didn't even need a crowd chant for that. Oh! Sting with a cheap shot to the knee. Got to the knee on Harry Smith. He's gonna work that leg over. This, this is a great, this is excellent. This is this is where, where you know, excellent planning. This is game plan right here. This is what he's doing. He's going after the leg. Keep Smith on the ground so he can't utilize that power. And not only would Kevin Steen not deny any of the things that say about him, but he admits to it. He confesses it. He just said, I am an opportunist. And if there are gonna be five more minutes, he wants to not just own all of them, but make sure that the first step is to own the first one. And that's Joel, that's what made you a great manager, is telling you guys stuff like this. There's nothing that, that Harry Smith can do when he's too good off the canvas. That power has is, is, is now been taken away from him. This is the one way that Harry Smith is not taller than Kevin Steen, that's for sure. That Boston crab here by Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen can get a little bit more leverage on that by bridging back. Intestinal fortitude to, to, to make him submit. He's made the ropes. See, Kevin Steen's taking a little bit too much time here. He needs to get on his knees. the back of the knee. Is he gonna tap, Joe? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, knowing the integrity, knowing how bad he wants to be the champion. 60 seconds left. 60 seconds left, Joe. 60 seconds left. We have to have a winner here. seconds left, what would you do? 
you have to stay in it, fight your way out, and just try to take your your mind off of the pain, which is what Steen's doing right now. Harry Smith Look is breaking down on that uh, on that knee. Five, four, three, two, one. What happened? Cross face. Uh, what happened first? This contest has been declared a draw due to meeting the time limit. However, we are going to go until there's a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I am given and, and given the order that we are going to go until there's a time limit. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. No. My knee and my back are shot. Billy Corgan prides himself on saying that he's gonna treat his wrestlers right and not make them wrestle hurt. I fulfilled my contract. I had the match. I'm hurt. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, no. And hey, if anybody in Resistance Pro or Billy Corgan have a problem, tell him to get his ass out here and tell me himself. I think Steen's copping out. What do you yeah, think, you Joe? You know, I think you have to kind of look at it from both sides. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Steen is his blood, it's his sweat, it's his tears. Perhaps he is popping out. He may be there, but at the same time, this he signed up for a match with a 20 minute time limit. You're it right. 25 minutes. You're right. So he, he went, lived up to his end of the bargain. And he went five minutes over what he really was supposed to. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I am hearing that due to Kevin Steen not wanting to continue on Friday, January 13th, Right here in Excalibur for Resistance Pro 2. It will be the Almighty Sheik yeah. versus Harry, Harry Smith yeah. versus Wait a minute, Kevin is... Steen. What? The three way? The Resistance Pro Heavyweight Champion. On top of the Tag Team Championship, we be decided we're going to have a three top of heavyweight title. Way dance. Wait a minute. Awesome. What's Piven doing? Wait, wait here? a minute. Hold on. Hey, Pippen hey. comes out with the Sheik here. You know this is bullshit, Harry! You simple-minded people, you know this is bullshit, too! Neither of you won your damn match tonight! There shouldn't be a triple threat match! Because you're looking right here at a real champion, a man who won his match tonight! He has a point! I demand that right now, the Resistance Pro World Heavyweight Champion be crowned! And his name is the Almighty Sheik. Well, I don't think so. These guys fought it out tooth and nail. I, I can't see giving the Sheik the title You here. people may not like These it. These guys earned a shot either well, way. A good lawyer would have a leg to stand on, though. The winners advance in the tournament. Sheik is advancing oh, on a win. No. The Sheik is taking his frustrations out of Harry Smith. He's choking him with... Up, Steen's coming in. He's intervening. Oh, they're both attacking. Oh, they're both attacking Harry Smith. I guess it's a good game plan. You might as well both double team the, you know, the, the, the baby face. Oh my God. Be no. Kevin Steen's just diabolical, no question about it. An opportunist by his own admission. And Kevin Steen benefits at least as much as the next guy in this whole equation because Kevin Steen was the one that didn't want to continue in the match. Kevin Steen does get even by virtue of a draw to continue. Oh! Harry gets involved with the double clothesline. Four on shots. Harry's hot. He's not going to take it. one-eyed Miss Joel, January 13th, Friday, January 13th, three-way dance between Harry Smith, Kevin Steen, and the one and the only Sheik with that little rat Piven in his corner. Well, everybody here might have had a happy Thanksgiving, but somebody come January 13th is going to have a very, very much happier New Year than the others. And that person is going to be the Resistance Pro Heavyweight Champion. Somebody's going to walk out of here with the title belt. Oh, 
a lot of bad blood, and this is something that nobody's going to want to miss on the 13th. In seven short weeks, this will be settled.